What is up, everybody? Scratch coming up with another Raid Shadow Legends video. This is going to be a bit of an endgame guide, something that's gonna prepare you to push your account to the next level, how to be more efficient, and how exactly is the real endgame looking in Raid Shadow Legends. There is no secret. Once you're gonna reach the endgame, you're gonna get more resources than anyone else, you're gonna get more shards, more books, you're gonna get better gear. Everything is kind of like interconnected, okay? And it's very important to know how to be efficient and i'm going to show you how exactly i'm playing the game at this level okay i'm not spending that much money and honestly the more advanced you are in the game the less money you're going to have to spend in order to complete any sort of events or fusions in the game and i'm going to show you a couple of tips now the main idea is this is an end game stuff okay you need to reach the end game have pretty much the champions prepare for it have the right teams to do most of this content and once you get there, honestly, nothing really stops you. You're barely going to farm any dungeons. And when you're going to farm the dungeons, you're going to do it to complete the events. You're not really going to need to spend money on energy unless you're mad and you want to go and farm the Fire Knight or the Spider non-stop. The whole idea is we have so many things in the game. We have the Forge, we have the Doom Tower, we have the Clan Boss, we have the Hydra, we have the Clan Shop, we have the Arena Shop. Everything, okay, everything gives us something now i'm gonna walk you through the entire process how exactly is the real end game looking in raid shadow legends how to use your resources to be more efficient and kind of like gain an advantage over any other player in the game if you're doing everything right let's start with how we do clan boss right so in my clan we're wiping everything off okay hard brutal nightmare ultra nightmare you need a team to one key night uh, ultra nightmare and nightmare then you're gonna be able to do this Every single day, the same way we're doing it. Hard can drop shards, can drop skill tomes. Brutal can drop shards as well. So Brutal and Hard can only drop voids as the highest rarity of shards. And Ancients, you're getting potions, you're getting silver, you're getting gems. You're getting tons of stuff from everywhere. Bruce, everything is so important. That's why you gotta make sure you're doing this every single day if you have a team that's capable to do it. I'm using a Bariter. I'm not using anything too crazy. And even if you're not able to... One key Ultra Nightmare, only two key Ultra Nightmare. Make sure you are doing a key on Nightmare. Do a key on Brutal at least because you're getting three, four keys a day. And then you're going to be able to cash in on tons of goodies. Of course, the RNG is RNG. Sometimes we'll give you Sacreds. Sometimes we'll not. We'll give you Skill Tomes. But all around, it's pretty freaking important to do Clan Boss as often as possible. So I'm using my four keys every single day. That's how I managed to collect quite a few shards all the time. Clan versus clan again, that's a bit of a more pay to win sort of thing. But if you're in a good clan and you manage to win one and or just win most of them, that's going to give you tons of uh, loot as well. Let's move over to the Hydra clan boss. I just quickly want to say a couple of things before we talk about the Hydra rewards, guys. Most of the times people are like, Scratch, how can you get these crazy builds on your champions? How can you get this accuracy, resistance, this crit damage, this attack? One very important thing to keep in mind is that I've been playing this game for over three years. Time is still the main advantage in these games. And the whole idea is that if somebody comes in here and drops 100k today, he's not going to be where I am. He might get more champions than me. He might have a ton uh, of champions that are empowered at plus four. But he's not going to be where I am in terms of gear. And it's going to take him quite a while to get where I am. Time is still the main key. So what exactly I'm saying is that if you're free to play or if you're a, a spender, eventually you're still going to be able to pretty much reach the same place but it takes time okay time is the main the main currency for the game you gotta you gotta spend time to get in the end game and to get crazy champions to get crazy gear if you spend money it's true that that progress is gonna be boosted you're gonna get there much much faster than a free-to-play player you know now the whole idea is that people are like scratch how can we actually get this sort of disgusting stats on your champions this mitrala she has almost 1150 resistance okay and look at the gear nothing comes from dungeons i have untouchable comes from the scarab king we have a uh, perception comes from the forge which comes from faction wars so that's how i'm getting my gear some of my best gear that i have because we're talking about hydra the main thing that i wanted to point is people don't do hydra and then are like scratch how can we get these stats on the champions like by gaius right stone skin set Freaking arm, look at the stats. Almost 7k attack and almost 700 accuracy on stone skin set for a bomb champion. 
uh, isn't that like you're paying for the gear no because i'm farming hydra i've been farming hydra since day one i knew how important the gear will be and how powerful the stone skin set will actually be will replace immunity will replace tons of other sets or my ramantu for example he's not in immunity anymore and he has 725 accuracy on stone skin gear why because i farmed hydra clambos and again perception that comes from faction wars from the forge most of these good sets in the game they come for free now guys you don't spend money and energy in dungeons to get them you just gotta make sure you are farming the right bosses how i mentioned if you're free to play don't get discouraged because one day you'll get here too you're gonna be slower than people that spend money but you're gonna get here too and you're gonna want to make sure you're doing the right decisions and you're farming the right things probably by the time you're gonna get on point with everything some of the things might change and we're gonna get different gear from different bosses or something like that but i know a lot of you guys hate doing hydra i don't really blame you it wasn't as fun as uh, we thought that was going to be the whole idea is you gotta do it okay it's so damn important you have no idea you're getting so many resources out of the hydra clan boss is literally just crippling your account if you're not doing hydra the gear set is amazing you're gonna get clan gold which is very very important now let's just say you don't have maybe the craziest champions on your account that doesn't mean that you need to go and wonky nightmare okay if your clan kills three difficulties try to pinch a chest from each one of them because all around that will give you more stuff now try to wonky at least brutal you know you gotta you gotta get to the top chest on brutal get to the top chest on nightmare if you can but if you if not just try to get hard brutal and nightmare and get top chest on at least two difficulties you're gonna get tons of uh, clan gold the more chests you get the more gear you get the more clan gold you get so that's kind of like the way it works i'm doing weekly every single difficulty it takes me around an hour a bit under an hour to one key every single one of them it might take you a bit longer depending on what champions what teams you have and how patient you are and of course how well you are at taking decisions in the game you know because that's very important when you're talking about hydra is not only about having the right champions is knowing what exactly you're doing when you're doing your run so right now we are collecting the heart you see the hardware chest we got 270 clan gold we killed it i'm gonna get doubled that's 500 clan gold only from killing hard clan boss guys plus we're getting gear this is not a great piece you know what but it doesn't matter again this one the same we're gonna do the cleanse after we're gonna sell everything that's not good the whole idea is i don't need to farm immunity anymore this is not really the replacement for speed set the protection but they're very powerful sets for arena very powerful sets all around you see bang more clan gold we got more gear some pieces might be good some pieces might not of course you know how the rng goes in the game but gathering this stone skin gear you can replace immunity gear so you can build so many different champions on it plus it's so powerful for arena defense as well 400 clan gold from here so this is gonna give us 800 clan gold we're already at 1300 clan gold just by killing two difficulties guys very very important you see the the pieces that we're getting they're not amazing this is a decent weapon but kind of like in the wrong set we're never really gonna get to use that one bang collecting the rest as well and that's one thing you gotta do hydra clan boss look at all the gear that you're getting do you know what it means to don't farm dungeons for this we're getting 860 more clan gold from here so just by killing three difficulties on hydra getting the top chest i'm getting 2000 clan gold weekly now clan gold can be used in the clan shop and i'm gonna go there in just a second as well i'm just checking if we've got any decent pieces this one looks interesting but unfortunately it doesn't seem that we got anything spectacular out of it and this is all protection the worst thing to see you know when you're just getting protection this is actually a good uh, a good gauntlet i like that i'm definitely gonna use that one most probably this is a good uh, chest piece as well this is a good weapon so we actually got a couple of decent pieces from uh, the protection set now if we're gonna go over to the clan shop i finally finished to collect all the champions from there i got the skins so now this is my clan shop okay i am in a high clan so i have everything unlocked now how exactly i'm spending my clan gold because i'm buying something every single week and i'm doing quests every single week now in my clan we have a rule the first 24 hours you can only pick one of each quest after the first 24 hours if you still find different quests in here you can come and collect one elite one something that nobody else wants to take 
same with the expert so that's kind of like the rule you see and that's pretty much what i'm doing every week i'm waiting till uh, wednesday and i'm picking up another quest from the elite the first day i'm picking one elite one expert i'm doing this this gives me again almost 1000 clan gold then i'm i'm going at the shop right i'm always getting the chaos ores this is something that is very very important for the end game because you literally have the chance at re-rolling a quad or a triple which are so freaking extremely rare to get people they don't really appreciate this they don't really understand what it means to have the chance to re-roll a piece of gear now just to roll a quad on any pieces of gear is kind of like a one percent chance okay just think of that one percent chance being able to get re-rolled one more time into something else it might not roll good you never know but you still have that chance just to get quads on gear by farming it is super freaking difficult, okay? People need to understand this. Chaos ores are actually very, very important. I'm always getting the rank charms. Now, if I remember it correctly, we don't have any rarity charms left in here anymore. And that's kind of like a thing that I'm noticing. From these ones, I'm not purchasing. Only if it's accuracy, speed, or resistance. That's literally all that I need from there. If I have the Void Shard available, I'm purchasing that. Now we have Energy. Hell yeah, give me that Energy. You see, I've done I've done Hydra or I've done my weekly quests. You know what? I'm going to go and buy this Energy. You see, I already dropped over 5,000 Clan Gold, which is pretty damn crazy. Now one thing, luckily I bought the skin. I bought the, all the champions. So I can now finally focus more of my Clan Gold into buying accessories, counter-attack accessories. This artifact is pretty solid, but at the moment, I don't prioritize this. I prioritize to get more counter-attack accessories. Whenever I was buying uh, champion skins or buying the actual champion fragments, I always skipped purchasing accessories because we are lacking clan gold at the moment. I feel like we just don't get enough. We definitely need new ways uh, to get clan gold. Pretty damn important because... We really don't get enough, you know, like, you see, I just wasted 8,000 clan gold and I barely bought one, two, three, four. That's, that's it. If we would have something else in here, I can't purchase it. I can't even purchase this because I need a thousand clan gold. I would love to be able to get that artifact as well when it's in store. But unfortunately, at the moment, it's not on the top uh, of the list for me, you know. This is kind of like the item list. Now... How I mentioned, I'm not purchasing everything. I usually skip the legendary skill tone, but that's because I'm super advanced in the end game and I feel like I don't need it. I'd never buy the five to six star because, hey, you have the six star guaranteed here. Why would you waste money on uh, purchasing this when you can just go for that? I'm buying the, I never buy the chickens. I never buy the glyphs. I don't buy the core hammers either, honestly. I don't buy them anymore. I, a lot of times I was thinking I cannot wait to unlock that to be able to buy them, but then you know what, you end up in never buying them. So that's how I'm managing my clan shop. Don't waste them on silly things like this. Don't purchase this because it's not worth it, unless you are kind of like early on and you are looking to get some sort of accessories. If we are talking about the rest, and this is kind of like where the big part comes in, you know, we don't farm dungeons anymore as we used to. Why? The Doom Tower, the Hydra, everything kind of slowly is replacing the the gear from the dungeons except the speed gear now i would be very surprised to see platinum doing something in the future that will allow us to acquire a different speed set or something similar because i feel like that's kind of like one one part from uh, where they're taking loads and loads of money we have perception so this is the best accuracy kind of like speed set you get accuracy and speed this completely killed farming the dragon for accuracy Right, A lot of people that were farming it, now they're just doing it for speed gear or they're not doing it either and they're just buying the speed gear. And that's kind of like for people that are very advanced in the end game. I'm not buying speed gear, I'm still farming the dragon for the speed gear, right? You have the untouchable, this is the immunity. This kind of stopped us farming the Fire Knight, for example. You're getting resistance and you're getting immunity for two turns by just farming the Doom Tower for free, okay? You don't need to do nothing. You just farm that if you're purchasing the right things you're gonna be able to have higher chances to get the right substats the, the right means you just gotta use the charms use the rarity and the rank charms on the right sets i used to run them even on perception a long time ago but i'm not doing it anymore 
you have the fatal you need attack crit rate bang this is actually what i'm farming this rotation you know why because i'm kind of tired of farming the guardian i have plenty of guardian pieces i can do plenty of them and i just feel like it's not such a powerful set anymore and i just don't need it at the moment so i'm farming i'm farming the magma dragon this rotation actually but whenever we have the scarab i'm going for it resistance gear the only reason why people were farming before the ice golem was for resistance gear and of course some people are farming enough for reflex but the whole idea is that well that kind of died as well because we have the bomber in here which gives us resistance and defense on a 2p set so these sets are so much better and all you gotta do is make sure you are doing your dailies and you're gonna be able to come and get the right gear now we have lethal which is from the dark fey basically it took down the fire knight again savage the most important sets in the fire knight was the savage set was the immunity for arena and of course you have shield you have a couple of other sets that are very uh, powerful like the stun and stuff but all around the main two sets that people were going crazy for was immunity and was lethal now we're not going crazy for that because we can get them from the doom tower for free without spending money on energy now it is limited per month and per rotation but this changed the game so freaking much you guys have no idea that's why it's so important to make sure you are farming the right bosses on every rotation don't waste time to farm the eternal dragon or god knows what other crappy boss that gives you a bad set like you don't need to have frostbite you don't need to have bloodthirst or the other sets because they're pretty pointless okay they're not really gonna help you anywhere definitely not in the end game so make sure you prioritize the right three four bosses to farm this is gonna boost your gear like crazy this is this is how the end game is played man uh, I'm, t I'm telling you honest now we have the two x on a um, speed for the dragon so i bought a I bought an energy pack but i don't really buy energy anymore and i feel like this is pretty much for everybody nobody really buys energy and i only got one pack because i'm gonna farm a bit of dragon and that's it you know i'm not gonna go crazy on it because it's pretty pointless i'm looking to get better sp uh, speed gear because that's something that you're always gonna look to do but is not as important anymore and the doom tower is definitely the game changer together with the forge you've seen now they got in the forge pass which you have to purchase but the whole idea behind it is that that kind of knocked down the shield set you have the bolster set for arena which is op right you're not gonna go and farm the fire knight to get the, the shield set anymore because the bolster literally just took over now you do need a shield set for seer because she cannot strip the bolster but that's pretty pretty easy to get so on this rotation i'm farming the magma dragon instead of the griffin just because i i feel like doing something different then i'm farming the scarab I'm farming the Bommel, I'm farming the Dark Fey. I wish that they would, br they would bring in another rotation for the Dark Fey. That would actually be awesome. What about 3v3 Arena and the uh, Bazaar? This is another very, very important place where you're going to want to make sure you are being on point with it. You can get a Legendary Champion from here, but you can get so many other things. You can get Energy, you can get Shards, you can get Charms, you can get Skill Tomes, you can get Chickens. Now, unfortunately, it's kind of like tied to specific tiers not everybody's gonna be able to purchase what they want hopefully platinum will think to change this at some point now i'm purchasing the rank charms i'm purchasing the sacred i'm purchasing the void shard i'm purchasing the charm chest and accessories every freaking day i never skip those okay every single day now you see i'm a bit behind with the with the sacred shard because i gotta do a lot of uh, a lot of grinding but that's something that I'm doing. So I'm doing 20 fights every single day. When you're at the very end game, it's easy. You put a one-man defense. Everybody's going to farm you. You're going to farm everybody the same way. And there are a few lower tiers that are doing this. Slowly, they started to implement this as well for all the people. Because it's just easier to, to farm each other. And you're getting so much freaking stuff from here as well. This is pretty much how the end game is being played, guys. I know a lot of people think that everybody spends crazy money once they reach the end game to do all their stuff that's not the case anymore they are krakens they are whales that will spend money regardless where they are in the game because they're just addict to spend money they have tons of money they don't really care about it some people they're gonna be like i'm not gonna do my dailies which again are very important because that's gonna give you a lot of stuff but i feel like you have to be on point with everything that you're doing use your stuff wisely 
that's how you're going to keep resources. That's how you're going to get rich, basically. That's how you're going to get more stuff on your account. The more shards you're going to get, the more champions you're going to get. The better champions you're going to get. That's kind of like how it goes with the game. Let me know in the comments down below. How are you guys playing the end game? If you are in the end game, are you pretty much focusing the same things? You have different priorities. What are you guys prioritizing in each one of the shops? Of course, the main thing should be the champions. That's going to give you a lot of benefit all around. But that was all for this video, guys. Much love. Hopefully you enjoyed it and you learned something new. Appreciate all of you guys watching and I'll catch you all soon in the next video. Peace.